What's up guys, Genius Pie Trap, and this is Murder Miners, available on Steam. It is already available on the Xbox, but now just recently on Steam, so I thought I'd do a quick look at it here. And as you can tell, it is yet another Minecraft first-person shooter type game, like Guncraft or Ace of Spades, or many of the other ones like this. And here you can see somebody made a really cool Super Mario Brothers themed map. Now, before you brush this one off as yet another one of those games, like I almost did actually, hear me out, this game is actually pretty fun. As you see by the weapon selection here, this is a lot like Halo. The guns are like Halo, the controls are like Halo, it feels a lot like Halo. Surprisingly. I'm very, very pleased at the controls of this game. And here I'm playing a infection mode, so I just died looking at this cool user map someone made. And unlike Ace of Spades, probably a lot of you guys have played, this game is very different than Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades is a much slower paced game that has a lot to do with building and a lot to do with destruction of the map, and the map is constantly changing. This game, not so much. The map barely changes. There's very little destruction in the map. There's very little building, if any at all. I've not played any maps where building is enabled. I don't even, not even sure if you can enable it, but it's really not what this game's about. The whole voxel-based thing is more of building your own maps and sharing them with the community. Like, as you can see here, we're playing in the Battle of Hoth, and before that, somebody made a Super Mario Brothers-themed world and a lot of cool user-generated content so far, making every match seem super fresh. I'll show you the building thing right here though. Let me switch to a different map. All right, so here I got a battle rifle. Here I have the building gun, but again, I cannot use it. They have, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's disabled. I think it's disabled automatically. I'm not even sure if you can. Somebody correct me if you, I'm wrong. But, you know, as you can see here, I can pick a bunch of different things, sand, and do different stuff with it. In the uh, map building mode, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It also doubles up as a weapon, so if you do pick it, it can go as a laser weapon. Let's uh, check out this map here. Again, another user-generated map, and let's get some kills. Um, Again, this, I'm playing Infection. I think Infection is by far the best mode on this map. There's, you know, the standard team deathmatch and deathmatch and capture the flag and Infection where you're trying to survive not to be killed by the army or the army of zombies, rather. And, ooh, headshotted him. And once you do, you turn into a zombie and try to kill them as well, which the zombies have this cool kind of grappling hook tongue maneuver where you guys can see him flying around and I just ran out of bullets oh just like that they grabbed me kind of like a left for dead zombie I guess that grabs me and uh, put me through and as you see in the last map I actually grabbed a guy out of a uh, a spaceship or whatever the heck he was driving around so yeah it's cool this game's got vehicles it's a lot of fun I must say and that's an unreal this is an unreal tournament map actually all right let's uh, see what we got next Again, another video game themed map. Here we got Sonic and some Mega Man characters, Dragon Ball Z guys, it looks like. It's pretty neat. Sam Samsus. Mario. See, again, pretty cool stuff that people build and can play. Now, is this necessarily the best map? Probably not. It just looks cool, I guess, but that's what kind of keeps the game fun and interesting. So, I'm going to shut up so I can actually play here a little bit. Because when I talk and when I talk and play, I tend to do very terribly. I have not mastered that yet. So maybe I'll switch the map so I can start out being not being a zombie, not being an infected goon. All right, let's see what we got next. 
All right, here we go. Another user-generated map. Look at this. Look at how cool this is. There's pirate ships. There's water. There's lightning storm clouds. And that guy was getting attacked by his. I'm gonna help him out. Maybe I'll roll with him for a little bit. But you know, how much work this took? I don't know. I would think quite a bit. I'm not. I haven't really messed around with the map editor at all. I'm kind of minecrafted out as far as building stuff goes. I, I played a lot of Minecraft. I don't know if I'll touch the map editor at all on this. Though it looks cool. And I really appreciate everyone that does make the new maps. Because, god darn, they are fun to play. And, of course, you just download them in the Steam Workshop. and Or, you know, just someone that is already hosting the game. All right, again, I said I was not going to talk, or curb the talking, I should say, so I can concentrate. Show you guys my mad FPS skills. Just kidding. Oh, that was a pretty good shot. All right, let's go up here. And I really like the battle rifle in this game. Definitely fun. Battle rifle and shotgun is usually what I roll with. Or the sniper, depending on the map. This would have been a good sniper map if I would have known ahead of time. But Battle Rifle does do the trick. <laughs> I like how that guy has a random teddy bear. And a penguin. Hot air balloons. Just a bunch of random stuff. I'm not sure if this is based off of something already. Doesn't look too familiar for me. Ooh, double headshot. There we go, racking up some kills. Now, one concern... Ooh, achievement for something there. One concern about always games like this is the long longevity of it. Now, one thing going for it is the game is only $5. I got a guy sneaking up on me. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, man. Ooh! And he did not... Was not able to get me. The longevity of these kind of games they multiplayer games because a lot of times they release a multiplayer game and a few weeks go by and nobody is playing it. I really hope this game gets some legs underneath of it. Neath it. It's only $5. It's it's such an easy gamble. It's actually on sale right now for $4. But how can you go wrong for $4? If you have two hours worth of fun on it, to me, that's worth it, I guess. I, I think once this game has like a free weekend or something like that, that a lot of people try it out and, of course, buy it. So I, I really wouldn't worry too much about the longevity of this game. I, I have a feeling it will find a crowd, it will find an audience, and there will be games to be had. All right. Yeah, I've been doing pretty good this round, actually. <laughs> you know, I noticed a... Oh, nice. Oh, I don't know if I got that kill. I think someone else must have got it, because I didn't see a score for it. Oh, see, now that's that's cool. The, the zombies get to use the... I don't know if it's... A, they're using their tongues or some kind of bloody grappling hook or maybe it's the intestines out of their stomachs I'm like oh like right there they grabbed me okay luckily I was able to oh he's dead luckily I was able to hide behind those blocks a lot of fun and I we also have grenades which I do I, I do wish there was a little bit more destruction in this game it just doesn't seem which was kind of the fun of ace of spades I guess Though maybe Ace of Spades took it a little too far. I don't know. Maybe not. But again, different games. So they, all games don't have to be the same. I, I really feel this game is hindered by the fact that it looks like mine, another Minecraft first-person shooter. Because it does not play like one at all. Again, the controls are really good. This is Halo. This is probably as close to Halo as you can really get. Oh, and I actually won that. I was the last. I'm gonna spend the last one alive. Well, looky here. Winner, winner is me. 
All right, let's see what we got next here. And that was, I, I couldn't see it. Here's a dodgeball one. That does not look too fun. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, another, I don't know if this is, a, I don't know if these are user generated maps or the Sonic and Mario stuff, that's obviously user generated because the developer couldn't afford the licensing rights for something like that, I would imagine. All right, see if we can go on another streak. I just, a lot of people like to climb up. I like to take these guys out. Now, one thing I should notice about the mode I'm currently playing is there is AI-controlled zombies, like a horde of AI-controlled zombies that once you die, you turn into a zombie as well. There's also a game mode, I believe, where there is no AI-controlled zombies. But I think this one is definitely more high-action, high-paced... To me, it's the most fun mode of the game. Though, Capture the Flag and Team Deathmatch is also really good, I'm for sure. Oh, look at that. Oh, and I am a zombie. Alright, now, okay, here I get to show you guys some zombie-infected gameplay here. Alright, let's see if we can get a kill. Now, now these, this is interesting right here. The dead bodies, I, here I'm eating my own dead body. You devour your body and or any other dead soldier, I guess, and you level up your zombie, which is just super cool. Oh, there's one kill. See how I use my tongue there to latch up? Nice. And I level up my zombie. Now you can see I'm zombie level two. So I have more speed and my latch thingy goes faster and my radar. You have limited radar as a infected zombie. Alright, where did that guy go? Oh, look at your map, genius. Oh, oh, look at that guy. He's swinging like a ape or something or a monkey. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, and I win again, actually. Alright, it must be... This must be for the high score not who's the last one to survive but anyway guys that's the game check it out murder miners genius pie trap over and out later bye victory the outcome was never really in doubt eat my dust let's have a go at it godspeed you magnificent bastard get up it is good to be giant Glory!